Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing something quick. It's going to be makeup on the fly for when you're in a hurry or you've got kids and you want to just get out the door but you don't want to mess about too much but want to look good. So I hope my little tips help you. First I'm going to start with some concealer. Now I'm going to stick this under my eye because I noticed today I look a bit kind of ready orangey just under here and I'm going to put a little bit just down there. I'm going to put all the products in the end as well. So you can see what I've been using. This is actually by Lancome and I'm finding it quite good. Just like the Touche Le Clair, however you call it. So I'm just going to gently just dab a bit. This is just to kind of make my eyes look alive. You don't want to, you don't want to wipe it, you just want to kind of press it. And you can see already it's just woof, lifts the eye a bit. Just see them on this side, just kind of. Dab the mixture in, into the skin, but you don't want to go too heavy or you'll end up rubbing it right back off again. Okay, now I want you to time this because I want to try and get it down to five minutes because my tutorials are a mickey take, they really are, they go on forever and ever because I usually like to lay up. Anyway, I'm going to use some e.l.f. and this is like a cheek kind of it's an all-in-one lip cheek and eye stuff it's a cream i'm just going to stick it on with my finger this one is <gasps> quick permission right so you just tip your head back so you can have a good look of your eye shape in the mirror and just going to gently just get right into the inner corner there and it'll bring it right up so basically it's acting as a base as well and it kind of brightens your eye it's not bad and i think it's one pound fifty in the uk and a dollar in the us so even even if you don't like it, it's just worth having your makeup bag. That's what I think. I love the products. I've got a load of the lip glosses. And although they don't smell too nice, the colours are amazing. And there's just a colour for nearly every occasion, so they're well worth having. And you kind of grumble with the price when they're like that, so... So I'm just going to stick that nice and on. A nice heavy amount. You could even go a bit high up if you want. So that's that. Now we're going to do something on the cheek. So again, I don't want to plug that onto my face, so I'm going to just take my little finger like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend my face is like a 3D graph. I can see a 3D graph over it. And I'm just going to gently bring the highlight around the eyebrow bone and just do there. So you kind of go on like that. So where the, the light would naturally catch the skin anyway. And that just gives a nice kind of dewy look. Just makes it look a bit more alive because I, I look pretty dead half the time. So I'm going to bring that down there. I've got some fantastic news for you, which I'm going to get the all clear on before I go telling everyone and make fun of myself. But it, it is going ahead, so it's not about that. It's just getting everything right. So I'll be telling you some really good news and I hope you enjoy. So anyway... This is L'Oreal Colour Minerals. It's a little mineral eyeshadow and I've been getting these for the, the book shoot because I've been using lots of different things. And this one's Pearly Rose. And it's just, take the top off. Now I've already put that bit, bit out there. Dip that in there. In fact, you might want to put it into the cap. Just so it comes out a bit more. There you go. Don't do that because you can't reach. I've just learned. So you want to go back into this like that. And this isn't coming out very easily. So I just suggest you tap it. Maybe you want to take the top off. But that's like a light pink kind of shimmer. And we're just going to gently just go over the cream. Just to kind of highlight. Just to give a nice light look. It's not making much difference because I'm not getting much out. Oop. So you don't want all of your carpet like I've just done. Just going to put a little bit just dabbed over top of the cream there. Get more out and do this side. This is just to kind of help the base stick. No matter what eye base you use, it's going to crease because it's in an area where you have an eye crease. So don't feel too hard on yourself. All primers, any brand will crease. It's normal. And it's the same with eyeliners as well when you put them on the lower lash line. Sometimes when you've got your foundation and stuff on, it will bleed into the hit, like into the skin, which is a shame. But this is by Barry M, and it's an, a fixing gel 
for glitters but I use it for my brows because it just perks them up a bit so you just tip your head back and just gently run the wand through your eyebrow and I don't know if you can see that on camera but it just gives it a bit of extra zing you can also use it for you putting your glitters and stuff on just gonna get lift them I just want them to look alive not where they're smiling and stuff but you know they've got a bit of a shine to them now I'm going to take a liner and this is a big one it's a jumbo eyeshadow pencil and it's black bean look at that huge now these are really creamy and they will bleed after a while but it doesn't matter because all makeup does but if a little tip for you if you want to keep your, your eyeliner a bit longer put some matte powder under your eye not just foundation cream because if it's foundation cream it will bleed but if you put a matte powder all under your eye then it's less likely to bleed it's the same on your eyelid as well. If you're using cream bases, pat some similar, if you like the colour cream base you're using, pat some similar eyeshadow on top of, and it just sets it a bit longer. So I think that's enough for that side. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. Now, that looks strange, but we're going to blend it. And then you want just a tiny bit just kind of into your lash line maybe not the best pencil to do with because it's very thick but because we're going to blend it it shouldn't matter too much now I have to pull some funny faces for that because it was really takes some tough time now I've got a little eyeliner brush and this is a happy face one and it's by Sandy Gold and she sent us some brushes ages ago and I love using them I don't think you can ever have enough brushes and I, as you can see I'm just blending this out you only want to go kind of halfway in and then lift it out and then we're going to do the lower lash line as well And then the same on this side. I'm going to be doing a collection of videos soon that are very short, precise, to the point, and they're going to be like little tips and stuff. And I really hope you enjoy them. I'm going to start to edit bits and pieces as well. There won't be full on long tutorials. I'm going to carry on with the long tutorials. But I think we could do with changing the channel up a little bit and have some fun. So I think we'll do some nice categorised beauty tips for everyone who wants to know. Now I'm going to take the eyelash curlers. And I was just using Shu Aruma. Aruma? Sure someone will put us right. We're going to take them and we're going to just gently curl our lashes. Give it a good squeeze. And that's without anything on. Cool. Do the same on this side. And then a good squeeze and then take them away. Now I've got some new mascara here by L'Oreal and I'm going to give it a shot. This is the primer part. This is this is the mascara volume shocking. Let's see if it lives up to its name. But stick your head back and just prime your lashes with the primer. So you've got that nice grey effect. It's white, but it's kind of grey. I, I must admit the brush is a bit funny to hold. I'm not used to it. But let's see how this primer works. Get that back in there. And I know for a fact I'm going to run over time. I just do. I'm a talker. Oh, I don't know about that brush. 
that's a bit strange. I'll give it a go. Oh, now hey, that's quite nice. Look at that, wow. Oh, 10 out of 10 for that. Oh, I like that. I know, nice plastic handle. Oh, now I'm just going to put my cell in the eye. Look at that. I'll get rid of this. Good job I concealed under my eye before I started. Look at the mess. Now, you could do with wet wipes. Or, you could do with them. Um, it's this handle. It's really hard to get used to. The mascara, it's fantastic. I like that. I'm actually going to be doing some reviews on makeup. Now I've always thought not to do reviews but you know what? So many people ask for reviews. So now and again I don't think it'll harm and I'll put them in a nice category for you so you can easily get to them and find out the products you want. Now I haven't got all the money in the world but if there's a product you like the idea of I shall go and buy it for you to have a try. I'll go and do a review on it so just tell us what you want and I'll do a review oh that's a bit that's it it's weird getting used to this handle that's why I nearly put myself on well I did put myself on the eye but never mind right okay that's them done pretty high up now for the lips we're going to take the elf stuff again and this is just dead easy it can be used for all over, so we're going to just put a bit on my lips. So you're not overdone. As you can see, what a lovely fresh look. Got nothing to wipe my hands on. I didn't come prepared because I wasn't going to be doing this video, but I have a special visual to make for somebody and it is a huge big make makeup outlet in the US not seen any names but I have a visual to make for them and they want I'm showcasing all my makeup kits and all up and coming stuff and so I didn't want to look like a ghoul like I usually do because lots of people are going to see it on the website so I thought why not show you how I do the makeup a nice fresh look for you because this is what I'm going to be wearing in the, in the makeup video that I'm going to be doing for the website. So, I really hope you enjoy my little fresh look video tutorial. And stay tuned because there's loads coming up. Lots of new stuff, lots of reviews, lots of tips. I'm even going to take you around with shopping with us and yap away at the ears in front of the people. It's going to be funny but I'm going to have a go. And I'll show you what different products to buy and I'll do reviews on what I bring home. Let us know if you've got any ideas or any products, as long as it's not completely over them, like overpriced and stuff like that. Because then I'll, I, you know, depending if I can get it or not, it might not be a promise. But if it's accessible, tell us. And if I can get it in the UK as well, because I'm in the UK and not everywhere ships. So send us your little review requests and I shall happily do them. And still the same tutorials, so any looks you want us to do, tell us. If I get enough of them, I'll be doing your requested look. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've en enjoyed doing it. And I like them lashes. Cool, 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 yo. Right, I'm up. Zoom, zoom. And guess what? I knew I'll forget something. I got this out specifically to show you is because I'm dead chuffed. It is my Guardian column and I don't go on about it much because I feel a bit silly. I know it sounds silly but I buy this every single week in the Guardian and then I just keep it all so I'm really happy about it. I just want to show you this because it's something I don't show you as often. But I've been working with the photographer to come up with a better look photo. <clears throat> so I really hope you like it. And that's, isn't it really pretty? And they've given us a bigger column as well because I used to get down here which was pretty, you, I think you had the words and then you had the pictures maybe, but now they've given us the full lot there and it's just fantastic. And it's always on page, hmm, 
I'm not sure the page, can't see the page, but it's in the beauty section and it's called Get the Look and I love it. And this week is Going for Gold, but you've missed it. It'll be next Saturday and I'm not sure. Oh yes, it's Hollywood Lips or oh, Ellie Lips. Really creamy, how to get that. You know the celebrity star makeup look when they've got really nude glossy lips? So that's the look I do next time. But I just wanted to show you the, something like that because I'm dead proud of it. And I never show years, and I should, because it's something I do each week. And um, and it's been a pleasure to work with them as well. And I've never really come on here and talked about it. But yes, my Guardian column, it's still up and running, and I'm having fun with it. So I was meant to tell you that as well, and got sidetracked, because I was trying to keep the video down for you. But I'm going to get on my next video now, and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Right, I'm really going now. Zoom, zoom.